Today, I show you how to disable or delete your Discord account using your PC or phone. And at the end of this video, I'll tell you what disable and delete actually do. To disable on PC, first open the app or the website. Both of them function the same way. On the bottom left, you'll see your username. Click the gear symbol to go into user settings. You should arrive on the My Account screen. If you don't, make sure My Account is selected on the left. Scroll down to the bottom. Click Disable Account. It'll ask for your password. If you have two-factor authentication enabled, it'll also send a code to your phone. Do those things and click Disable Account. It'll bring you back to the login screen, and it may say Welcome Back, but your account is disabled. To learn more about what disabling does, including how to re-enable it, skip to this timestamp. To delete on PC, first, open the app or website. Both function the same way. Note that before you delete, you must remove any servers that are yours, or transfer ownership of them to somebody else. Do that before continuing. On the bottom left, you'll see your username. Click the gear symbol to go into user settings. You should arrive on the My Account screen. If you don't, make sure My Account is selected on the left. Scroll down to the bottom, click Delete Account. It'll ask for your password, and if you have two-factor authentication enabled, it'll also send a code to your phone for you to enter. Do those things and click Delete Account. It'll bring you back to the login screen. It may say Welcome Back, but rest assured your account is in deletion mode. And after two weeks, it'll become permanently removed. To learn more about what deleting does, including how to bring it back, skip to this timestamp. To disable using your phone, first open the app. These instructions will apply to both Android and iOS. On the bottom right, you will see your avatar. Select it. Select the word account. Scroll down to the bottom. Click disable account. It'll ask for your password. And if you have two-factor authentication enabled, it'll also send a code to your phone for you to enter. Do those things and click OK. It'll send you back to the login screen. The process is complete. To learn more about what disabling does, including how to re-enable your account, skip to this timestamp. To delete using your phone, first open the app. These instructions will apply to both Android and iOS. Note that before you delete, you must remove any servers that are yours, or transfer ownership of them. Do that before continuing. On the bottom right, you will see your avatar. Select it. Select the word account. Scroll down to the bottom and click delete account. It'll ask for your password. And if you have two-factor authentication enabled, it'll also send a code to your phone for you to enter. Do those things and click OK. It'll send you back to the login screen. Your account is now in deletion mode. And after two weeks, it'll become permanently removed. So what does disabling and deleting actually do? And how do you reverse it? Note that the disabling I'm discussing here is not the same disabling that happens when you've been banned from the platform. Bans can be challenged, but it's outside the scope of this tutorial. When you disable your account on your own, it becomes inactive, which prevents anyone from using it. You will no longer receive any email notifications. You can still receive friend requests, but you won't know about them because you won't receive the notification. The request will still be available should you re-enable yourself. Disabling will not erase comments you have made, or pictures you have posted, and your username will remain beside each one. Your profile will show you as being offline. Your password will still exist if your account is disabled. Discord says it'll keep your account disabled for up to two years. After that, they may delete what remains of you. If you re-enable the account and then disable it again, this will restart the two-year countdown. To re-enable, just go back to the login screen and put in your credentials. It'll say it's disabled, but at the bottom, it'll give you the option to restore account. Go ahead and click that. So what about deleting your account? What does that do? It actually deactivates it, and all the things I just mentioned still apply. However, after two weeks, 
your profile becomes permanently deleted. After that, any comments you have made, as well as pictures you have posted, will remain. But the username that appears next to them will say deleted user, followed by some numbers. You can reverse the deletion within the two week period by signing in and selecting restore account. Please add a comment if you had success or difficulty using this tutorial. Have a good day.